The open hole whipstock system consists of two primary sections, the whipstock and the ECP section. The whipstock section consists of the primary dart catcher, special UBHO sub, stinger, whipstock, and hydraulic release. The ECP section consists of the handling sub, ECP, and float section. The BOT ECP is field proven in hundreds of applications and has the following features. Top mounted inflation system that senses true annular pressure for accurate valve control. A rough coated mandrel to prevent rubber element slippage that results in packer sticking. Progressive inflation to optimize mud removal and ECP wall contact and cement inflated to increase torsional ratings. With the whipstock and the ECP section made up together, the open hole whipstock is run in the hole to the kickoff point. If the whipstock face needs to be oriented, wire line is first run in the hole and stung into a UBHO sub. The two-stage dart is then pumped ahead of the cement. After landing in the primary dart catcher, a smaller dart is released. The secondary dart is then landed and the ECP is cement inflated. With the inflate limit valve closed, the hydraulic release is activated and the running tool is pulled out of the hole. The AKO drilling assembly is run in the hole, oriented to the whipstock face direction and drills out the lateral.
shown are the anchoring and milling assemblies that make up the window cutting system. The milling system consists of the whipstock, metal muncher window mill, lower watermelon mill, flex area, and upper watermelon mill. The entire Windowmaster BHA was refined using finite element analysis. The mills are attached to the whipstock by means of a shear pin. This attachment can be configured for either up shear or down shear, allowing it to be used in all retrievable and permanent applications. With the whipstock anchored in place, the mills are sheared free. The window is now milled. The drilling assembly is run in and finishes the new hole.